The Socialist Green Unity Coalition is an electoral alliance formed by leftist parties and political organisations in Great Britain prior to 2005 parliamentary election after the Respect Unity Coalition, which the SGUC constituent organisations regarded as little more than a vehicle for the Socialist Workers' Party rejected requests to discuss an electoral arrangement to avoid clashes in 2005. It was established in September 2004, named in November 2004 and publicly launched in February 2005. After the 2005 election the coalition continued to operate as a liaison and coordinating body but has not extended its remit much beyond electoral coordination. The largest single component is the Socialist Party. Other participating organizations include the Alliance for Green Socialism standing under their own name, Alliance for Workers' Liberty and Socialist Unity Network both standing as Socialist Unity and the Democratic Socialist Alliance, whose candidates in 2005 were also members of the United Socialist Party. Many of these organizations were in the previous Socialist Alliance before it voted to support the established of the Respect Unity Coalition. All the SGUC member organizations campaigned on a common platform including calls for an end to privatization, for defense of the welfare state, an end to poverty and for full employment. The SGUC also gave greater priority than most of its individual members to the question of the environment and building a sustainable economic system, largely due to the influence of the Alliance for Green Socialism. The 2005 elections The Socialist Party contested the 2005 election as Socialist Alternative in Boodle, Brighton Kemptown, Bristol North West, Cardiff South and Penarth, Coventry North East, Coventry South, Leicester West, Lewisham Detford, Newcastle East and Walls End, Sheffield Healy, Stoke-on-Trent Central, Swansea West, Wakefield, Walthamstow, Wythenshow and Sale East. Coalition members stood against the Green Party in some constituencies because the Green Party would not negotiate an electoral electoral arrangement to avoid such clashes, but agreed not to compete with the Respect Coalition or the Scottish Socialist Party. It received over 12,000 in 2005 votes and did not come close to winning any seats and only succeeded in holding its deposit in one seat, Coventry North East, where its candidate was former militant MP Dave Nellist. Topic candidates Socialist Alternative Party Birmingham Northfield, Louise Holdy SOC Alt Boodle, Peter Glover SOC Alt Brighton Kemptown, Phil Clark SOC Alt Bristol North West, Graham Jones SOC Alt Cardiff South and Penarth, Dave Bartlett SOC Alt Coventry North East, Dave Nellist SOC Alt Coventry North West, Nicola Downs SOC Alt Coventry South, Rob Windsor SOC Alt Leicester West, Steve Score SOC SOC Alt, Lewis Ham Detford, Ian Page, SOC Alt, Newcastle upon Tyne East and Walls End, William Hopwood, SOC Alt, Sheffield Healy, Mark Dunnell, SOC Alt, Stoke on Trent Central, Jim Sesford, SOC Alt, Swansea West, Robert Williams, SOC Alt, Wakefield, Mick Griffiths, SOC Alt, Walthamstow, Nancy Toffa, SOC Alt, Wythenshow and Sale East, Lynn Worthington, SOC Alt, Alliance for Green Socialism, Brighton. Pavilion, Tony Greenstein, Green SOC, Kensington and Chelsea, Eddie Adams, Green SOC, Leeds Northeast, Celia Foot, Green SOC, Leeds Northwest, Jeannie Sutton, Green SOC, Pontefract and Castleford, Bob Haig, Green SOC, Democratic Socialist Alliance, People Before Profit, Liverpool, Wavertree, Paul Philby, Dem SOC All, Crawley, Robin Burnham, Dem SOC All, Socialist Unity Network, Nottingham East, Pete Ratcliffe. SOC Unity, Swindon North, Andy Newman, SOC Unity. Topic: After 2005. Following the election, the coalition agreed to remain in existence for future elections and to run a campaign in support of fair pensions. It stood candidates in the United Kingdom local elections 2006. 
As of January 2010, the Socialist Party's continuing membership of SGUC is unclear as they have allied themselves with the TUSC Trade Unionist and Socialist Coalition from which other SGUC members notably the Alliance for Green Socialism had withdrawn. <laughs> 